In this video, I'm going to show you how to express any vector as a scalar multiple of a unit vector. And a unit vector we use, of course, is special in, in the following sense. Imagine we have, as always, a y-axis and an x-axis. Okay, so here's x and here's y, and you should be drawing along. All right, mathematics is best learned by practicing it daily. And let's see, we will take every six spaces to represent a one, so things can be drawn very big and visible. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing along the vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's also a one. Now let's draw a little quarter of a circle that looks like this roughly. Okay. And now, take a look. Any vector from the origin to a point on the circle looks like this. Okay? And of course, it makes an angle here with respect to the positive x-axis. So, we know the following. We know that because this is the unit circle, or at least one quarter of it, that the length of this vector here is one. Okay? And we also know by basic trig then the following is true. The x component of this vector, okay, which is this arrow, the x component of the vector here is the cosine of the angle. And we also know the y component of the vector which is that arrow, let me do a little thicker, that so that is the sine of the angle, sine of theta, okay? So cosine of the angle, sine of the angle, because this is a quarter of a unit circle, the length of the vector is one, and now take a look. What if I want to express a vector in the same direction as this one? So this is what we can do. We can take this vector and just multiply it by some number. Okay? So for example, say I take this vector and I multiply it by 2. What this will give will be a new vector whose length is double this one. So what we can say then is the following. Any vector v can be expressed as a length okay, or magnitude, that's what this symbol indicates, multiplying the green vector whose components are cosine theta and sine theta. So after this now you would write cosine theta i, let's enclose this within the parentheses, plus sine theta j. Okay, so it looks like this. So any vector such as this one right here can be expressed as a linear combination of this unit vector. Well, not a linear combination, but a scalar multiple of this unit vector. The components of this unit vector are cosine theta. The y component is sine theta. And then all you do is, once you have this, stretch it by the amount V, so it gives you this. Okay. So let's take a look at a more concrete exercise. This is a bit of theory that goes with this to motivate it. Say you're given the following facts. You're told that the length of a vector is... Four. Okay, so you're told that the length of a vector is four, and you're told that you want it to be in the same direction as this vector here, whose components are one and one. Okay, so the length of our vector is in the same as four, and it points in the same direction as the vector one one. So 
So the way to do it is as follows. You take your vector v and you express it as a multiple of, a, of the unit vector that lo lies along the unit circle. So you take v, write its magnitude or its length, and then you write cosine. And now we have to ask ourselves the fundamental question. What is the angle for a vector whose components are 1 and 1? That is pi over 4. I plus the sine of pi over 4j. Okay? So remember, cosine of pi over 4, sine of pi over 4. This is a unit vector. Its length is exactly 1. This is the only way to make this specific procedure work. If its length were different, then you would be distorting things. So now we have 4. And from our knowledge of the unit circle, cosine of pi over 4 is the root of 2 over 2, i plus the sine of pi over 4 from the unit circle is the root of 2 over 2 j. Okay. Now we simplify. This gives simply 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So this is now 2 times the root of 2 i plus 2 times the root of 2 j. Okay, so what we've expressed is our vector v as a scalar multiple of this vector here. Okay? So if you were to represent this using a picture, and you should definitely be drawing pictures all the time. You've got to be drawing pictures and visualizing the meaning of these things. It's so crucial to have a clear mental image of the meaning of the symbols. And if you are careful enough, it turns into a bit of an art. There we are. Okay. So imagine we have the following situation. We will take now five of these to represent one. So once again, we have this. The vector here, u, that is 1, 1. Okay. That looks like that, okay. This is the angle that it makes. Pi over 4. And this new vector that we've created is simply four times as long. So it lies along the same direction, but it's four times as long. There you go. Okay. So this is an example of expressing a vector as a scalar multiple of the basic vector whose components are the cosine of the angle and the sine of the angle, right? You are usually given in books v, the magnitude of v, the length of v. And what you have to assume is then, because you're given this length, you have to express it as a multiple of the basic vector cosine theta i plus sine theta j. And that's the process. Thank you for watching.